What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to style our venue search for our app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to style the venue search page. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last few videos, we've been working on the event search, but way back at the beginning of the course, we did this venue search. And this is the output page for the venue search. Not all that useful. Uh, great, we can click on them and go to the thing, but we should probably spend just a couple of minutes styling this page. Now, this video should take like three minutes to do because we've done this many times before, but I figure we should probably just knock this out and get it out of the way. So. That's what we're going to do in this video. So head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our events folder and our templates folder, and then our other events folder, and come down here and look at search venues. And this is our search venue page. And there's not much going on here. We've got a center tag. I'm just going to go ahead and take that out right now. We don't want to center this stuff. And it's just, we're passing venue in from the view and then we're looping through it and then putting the link onto the page. Not very exciting. So if we head over to our, let's see, show venue.html page, this is the page that comes up when we, let's see, let's go over to our app. When we go to all venues and then we like click on a venue, this page pops up. So I want this formatting with the card and all that stuff, but I want it whenever we do a search. So we could just copy this code make a little modifications to it. And you can see here's the div with the card. So we can grab all of this, head back over here to our search venue page. And then here it says you searched for and there's a line break. And then we have this for loop, we're going to need that. So actually, let's just get rid of all of this, right? We don't need these links anymore. And we can just paste in all this code right there. Now, down here, the venue owner, let's change this to owner ID. And this is going to be venue.owner. And then this is going to be venue. Dot, well, there's already an email address here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. Okay, so that's probably good. Let's go up. Let's go ahead and save this head back over here. And search again, I can just hit reload here and boom, you searched for place. Here we have my place, Tim's place. These are right up against each other. That's no good. Head back over here. And let's, let's see, inside of here, let's put a line break, save this, head back over, hit reload. And we got some space. All right, let's search again for Vegas. There we go. Now remember, we set up a different owner ID system a few videos back, so you may want to finagle this. You'll also notice a couple of these things aren't showing up for whatever reason, they're maybe not in there or whatever. So we might want to just come through here so, you, you know, some of them may not have a phone number, for instance. So what we can do is just do a bunch of little if statements real quick. So let's say if venue dot something, and then here we can end if. So let me just kind of come through here and put this on each of these. All right. There we go. And we can also do this one as well. Pop this for each of these. So it's pretty simple. Just kind of knock this out. So this one's going to be venue.address. This one's going to be venue.zip code. This one's going to be venue.phone. This one is going to be venue.email address. This one's going to be venue.web. And you'll never guess what this one's going to be a venue dot owner. And if we really want to come through here, we can kind of, you know, tab some of these over just to make it look pretty, whatever. <laughs> right? And there we go. So now if we go ahead and save this head back over here, hit reload. Those things that don't exist for any particular record won't show up. So okay, just that easy. And uh, that's all there is to it. So this should be old hat by now. You should, you know, we've done this many times with many different pages with the uh, showing venues pages, showing events pages, all the different things, the event search we formatted like this. So you should be able to understand how to do this on your own, but eh, it's sort of part of this whole thing. So I figured we'd at least do it, knock it out really quickly. 
And uh, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeb.com, and I'll see you in the next video.